Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Cinema Tales. Today we are back with an amazing movie where son of a rich billionaire accidentally reaches 16th century and falls in love with a girl. What happens next? Watch the full episode to know. The story begins with Grisha, the spoiled son of a very wealthy man in Russia. Grisha, indulged by his father's fortune, spends most of his time partying and living recklessly. One day after dropping off a girl on the side of the road, Grisha speeds away, only to be stopped by a police officer named Semyon. Grisha, as usual, tries to bribe his way out of trouble, but Semyon refuses. When Semyon stands in front of his car, Grisha doesn't back down. Instead, he recklessly accelerates, forcing Semyon to hang on to the car. Eventually, Grisha's father, Pevel, arrives at the police station to get him released, only to witness his son still behaving disrespectfully toward the officers. The police chief warns Pevel to get Grisha under control before it's too late. As they leave, Pevel sternly scolds Grisha, even threatening to kick him out of the house. However, Grisha remains unfazed, convinced his father would never follow through on such a threat. Frustrated, Pevel turns to Atia, a close friend and a well-known TV producer, for advice. He explains his concerns about Grisha's behavior, and Atia suggests he meet with Levon, a rather eccentric man she knows through her work on a horror film. She assures Pevel that, while Levon's methods may seem strange, he could be the solution to Grisha's problems. Intrigued, Pevel agrees to meet Levon. When they arrive at Levon's home, they find him performing a bizarre stunt, suspended by a rope, as if it were part of an elaborate show. Levon's true talent, Ati explains, lies in his ability to deceive and manipulate perception. Initially unsettled by Levon's odd antics, Pevel is ready to leave, but Atia persuades him to stay. A few days later, after another wild night at the club, Grisha steps outside to find his car being towed. He chases after it, but suddenly a shot rings out and Grisha blacks out. Hours later, he awakens tied up in a stable, where a young boy named Antaom orders him to prepare the horses immediately or face punishment. Disoriented and unaware of his location, Grisha has no choice but to comply. Soon after, a man named Avde arrives and harshly scolds him for not working fast enough. Moments later, Dimitri, the landowner, and his son Elaski appear. They discipline Grisha by whipping him, demanding that he obey their orders. Dimitri then gives Grisha a final warning. He must work quickly if he wants to avoid further punishment. However, as soon as Grisha returns to the stable, he seizes the opportunity to escape, running out and desperately asking the villagers for a phone. Strangely, no one seems to know what a phone is. Panicked and confused, Grisha stumbles and falls into a river, then returns to the village to change into dry clothes. Caught attempting to escape, Grisha is sentenced to be hanged. At the last moment, Dimitri's daughter, Aglaya, arrives. Horrified by the brutal punishment, she pleads with her father to spare Grisha's life. Dimitri reluctantly agrees, releasing Grisha. Overhead, an inconspicuous bird circles, but in reality, it's a disguised drone camera, recording everything. This entire setup, including the village, is part of an elaborate plan devised by Levon to reform Grisha, financed by Pevel, and orchestrated with Atiyah's production expertise. Throughout Grisha's ordeal, a sniper is on standby, ready to tranquilize him if needed. Witnessing his son's suffering, Pavel begins to question the plan, but Levon reassures him that these extreme measures are ultimately for Grisha's benefit. Meanwhile, Atia and Levon's partnership become strained as tensions rise between them over the approach to Grisha's reformation. When Grisha asked a question, Levon revealed that they weren't actually working on a horror film. Instead, he and Polina had secretly gotten married. Grisha was convinced he had somehow traveled back in time. Eliskai, on the other hand, was spending time with his girlfriend Liza, who took care of the horses in the stable. After a while, Eliskai even made fun of Aglaya's script because, according to it, she had to play Grisha's lover. Gradually, Grisha began to accept village life as his own, where there was no rest and where any mistake earned him a unique punishment. One day, Grisha heard someone crying. He followed the sound and found Aglaya, who confided that Dimitri was soon going to marry her off to an old man. Grisha reassured her, saying, the old man will die in four days. After that, all his money will be yours, 
and you'll finally taste the joys of life. A few days later, Grisha stole a chicken and demanded Antiom to make soup immediately, which he drank alone. Soon, word of the stolen chicken reached Abde, who lined up all the servants. He took Antiom to a separate room for punishment, but Grisha remained unfazed. Later, Antiom returned, showing Grisha fake scars created with makeup. While talking to Antiom, Grisha noticed Liza's underwear under the horse. He immediately ran toward her, and in his haste, accidentally knocked her to the ground. However, some villagers saw this and seized the chance to detain Grisha, allowing Liza to escape. Observing Grisha's unchanged behavior, Pevel wanted to stop the entire plan. But then he heard that Grisha was searching for Liza's address to apologize. Levon quickly instructed a few actors to give Grisha her address. For the first time, Grisha went to someone to apologize for his mistake. A few days later, the village celebrated a special festival known as the most magical night of the year. Those who spent this night together were believed to be bonded forever. That evening, Grisha was celebrating with everyone when Aglaya approached him and confided that she wasn't ready for her wedding. She asked Grisha to meet her by the lake that night. Grisha was indifferent, but later Antiom informed him that Aglaya was drowning in the lake. Grisha rushed over and saved her life. However, when he went to Liza, hoping to spend time with her, she shut the door in his face. The next morning, Levon decided to change the script. Since Grisha liked Liza, she would now play his love interest instead of Aglaya. But Liza wasn't interested in Grisha and refused to act in a romantic role with him. However, she was willing to help him become a better person. Eliskai, on the other hand, was not pleased with these changes and began troubling people under the influence of alcohol. But Grisha didn't mind. In fact, he was jealous of Alaskai for living so freely. Then Dimitri called Grisha and suggested he take the punishment in place of Alaskai. Initially, Grisha refused, but when Dimitri offered him freedom and fine food, he agreed and even shared his meal with Antiom. Meanwhile, Levon and Atia were growing closer and Pavel wondered if they might reunite. But Levon assured him it could never happen because Atia was actually in love with Pavel. This made Pavel think deeply. When Grisha was being punished, Pavel could hardly bear to see his son in such a state. But Atia convinced him that Levon's plan would work. After Grisha completed his punishment, he went to retrieve his freedom papers, where he encountered Alaska. She scolded him, saying he was foolish to believe Dimitri's words, that Dimitri would grant him freedom after just a minor punishment. Hearing this, Grisha grew furious, but left without a word. From that day on, he resumed his work, spending much of his time with Lisa. Meanwhile, Alaska and Aglaya were unhappy with changes to their scripts, and this discontent brought them closer. One day, Grisha and Liza stumbled upon them together and were taken aback. Liza was hurt by what she saw as her boyfriend's betrayal, while Grisha struggled to understand that Alaska and Aglaya were not siblings. Upon discovering this, Levon fired them. In an attempt to lift Liza's spirits, Grisha organized a special dinner for her. Afterward, they went stargazing, where Grisha confessed his love for her. Touched by the change in him, they grew closer. In another part of town, Aglaya, frustrated with Levon, went to the police and reported that Grisha had been kidnapped. This spurred an immediate investigation. When Pavel heard about this, he wanted to halt the entire plan, but Levon insisted they still had time and decided to launch an attack on the village. While Grisha and Liza were together, Liza told him that even if they were to be separated, he should always remember that she would love him. Then Antium arrived, warning them of the attack on the village. Upon hearing this, Grisha wanted to flee, but Antiom explained that everyone needed to stay in the village. Otherwise, the bandits would destroy it. A feast was prepared for the bandits, but their leader demanded a girl. When a girl was chosen, her father protested, and he was given a chance to fight for her honor. Tragically, he lost the battle, but his bravery moved the bandits, who released the girl. They then chose Liza for their leader, although Grisha initially didn't step in to save her. As he was leaving, he noticed that same peculiar bird flying in the sky. Inspired, he decided to rescue Liza. He immediately mounted a horse and charged toward the village. After confronting the bandits, he escaped with Liza. Just as they left, the police arrived. When they didn't find Grisha, Levon told them they were just filming a movie and dismissed them. After traveling for a long time, Grisha and Liza arrived at a gas station. Grisha was puzzled by the entire experience. 
but then a sniper knocked him out. When he awoke a few hours later, he found himself in a hospital. Grisha attempted to return to his old life, but it no longer brought him happiness. He apologized to the policeman Simeon by gifting him his car. Later, he encountered Alaska and Aglaya at a club. Upon seeing them, he asked about Lisa. At first, they denied knowing him, but after his persistent questioning, they finally gave him her address. He went to the stable where Liza worked and upon seeing her, asked if she truly loved him. Liza replied affirmatively, and from then on, they began living happily together in real life. So was everything that happened to Grisha justified? What do you think? Let us know in the comments.